Thanks for staying with us on the conversation right now. We switch gears to Tanzania, where the collapse of a six and a half year political ban on opposition parties in Tanzania by President Samia Sulu Hassan last week has more than set a reconciliatory tone between the ruling government and opposition parties. Reacting to this new development, Tanzania's opposition leader and former presidential candidate Tundulisu, who has been in exile in Europe, says he would be returning to his home country this January. On his official Twitter page, Lisu said, it's now official. I'll be kissing Tanzania's soil once again on Wednesday, 25 January 2023 at 13.35 hours local time. I'll arrive aboard Ethiopian Airlines from Addis Ababa. Now in 2017, Tunelisu led the country to seek medical treatment abroad after he was shot 16 times in an attack by unknown assailants, but perceived to be politically motivated by the then President John Pombe Magufuli. While it remains unclear if this reconciliatory move is linked to President Samia Slu Hassan's alleged ambition to contest in the next elections, many have seen this as a beacon of hope for large political change on the horizon for Tanzania's democracy. Now, join us to uh, discuss this in detail. We have Victor Kweka as a spokesperson for Justice, Constitution and Legal Affairs Act of Wazalendo. He joins us live from Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. A warm welcome to you, Victor. Thank you. Now, how have people in Tanzania received this news? Because it's almost five years of exile that the biggest opposition uh, to the then president, John Magufuli, has decided uh, to return home. How has the news of uh, his return been? Yeah, uh, people are happy now. Uh, people are happy to see. Uh, who uh, is back uh, to his country, uh, and uh, especially uh, his supporters will be happy uh, to see him again uh, joining his country, joining his motherland. So uh, as, of, as of now, uh, people are happy, and uh, I can't believe they are waiting for, for his arrival. Definitely. While awaiting the official arrival, we know that Tundulisi was also Chadema's national vice chairman and 2020 general election presidential flag bearer. I mean, he was one who stood out against John Pompey Magufuli. Now, since 2020 or now, how would you describe the relationship between Tundulisi and the Chadema party presently, especially now that he plans on coming back to the country on January 25? Yeah, uh, they have... Uh a strong relationship uh, and we heard at the last uh, interview uh, which uh, Mr. Boy, the chairman uh, from Kadema, uh, said that uh, they, they will come to this school and they are happy uh, to, to see him back here in Tanzania. So uh, that is a strong relationship between this school and each party and uh, we don't have any uh, sign uh, or any anything uh, which uh, showed that Tundu uh, Risco and Chadema, uh, they have anything bad between them. Okay, Victor, uh, looking at the political climate in uh, Tanzania recently, uh, President Samia Sulu Hassan is uh, engaged in a more reconciliatory uh, tone with the opposition. A uh, free man in Bowe was freed, and uh, she lifted the ban, a six year ban on opposition uh, political uh, campaigns. And now Tundu Risco is going to return uh, to Tanzania. Uh, what do you make of this, and how would it affect uh, his chances in the next elections, uh, Tundalizu? Because uh, it seems like President Samia Sulu Hassan is doing all the right things, is hitting all the right buttons. Will there still be room uh, for opposition politics in, in Tanzania? Yeah. Uh, first of all, as uh, as a national, we are so confident with uh, what uh, President Samia Sulu Hassan did. Uh, we are we are we are we are proud of her, uh, and we are confident that uh, now every uh, each political party will have a special program, will have a program uh, to compete uh, with the ruling party, and that was a news uh, by many uh, Tanzanians because. Uh, we, we were centered in, uh, in one uh, uh, political party, which was the ruling party. So 
their confidence will be fast. And the second, uh, that I think will will will, will cherish and uh, will be a catalyst to the to the, to the politics because the uh, Adema uh, CAF, ACT, Wazalendo uh, system, we have uh, uh, one program to address uh, politics. We have one program to address national issues. So I think uh, that will have uh, that chance will have an effect for 50-50 uh, by, by, by to, to any to any uh, political party. So I think uh, Adema, uh, ACT, Wazalendo, uh, CAF, CLP, Kauma and other parties, they are happy and they are comfortable and they are so confident and they can't wait to, to start their uh, uh, rally so that they can have a dialogue to, to address the nation issues. Because mm. uh, mm. you remember, uh, public rallies were banned. So as now, uh, President Samia Suru has uh, made a national uh, consensus and we are happy with it. So I think that we add uh, uh, something to, to, to the political uh, willing by the party. Okay, now that there's an open door to the opposition, the next election is in 2025. I mean, it's still far away, but still very close. Has there been any substantive claims to verify on the gate President Samia Suluhu's intention to run the next elections? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know uh, if... Uh, but I think that this game won't let anyone to, to, uh, to take the form uh, to challenge uh, the president, Samia Suluh Hassan. So uh, he will be passed by with, uh, uh, her party to, to Congress. So uh, I think that will, will, be, will be good for, for, for her as the president. Uh, uh, she will be, uh, no, uh, no, she will not be the president of one thing. So, uh, to, to political parties or to opposition leaders, uh, that will, will have no issue because uh, as of now, we have so many issues to address the nation. We have so many issues to address uh, the people. Uh, still, we have challenges uh, in the development. We, we still have challenges on uh, some kind of democracy. We have bad laws. We have everything uh, which we see uh, they are a uh, good to the national economy. So, uh, I don't know uh, if uh, citizens will allow President Samia Suluh Hassan to be elected uh, or no, or, or what. So what okay. we, are, we, are, we are looking for, we are looking for to, to, to have the forum so that uh, each party can address his manifesto and probably we can, can have to win. Uh, quite a lot to look forward to when it comes to Tanzanian politics. But let's talk about uh, the man in which uh, this discussion is focused on, uh, Mr. Tunduliso. I remember uh, talking to him on a New Central exclusive uh, last year. He said, and he told me categorically, that uh, the former president, John Pombe Magufuli, who's no longer with us today, ordered his assassination. And I also asked him, that now that this man is no more, are you willing to let bygones be bygones? And he said, uh, he gave me an emphatic no, saying that, look, uh, the people that carried out this assassination attempt are still in the system and justice needs to be served. So now that he's decided to return home to Tanzania, do you think he will pursue the part of justice or just let bygones be bygones? And what's the latest? Uh, has any criminal investigation been opened in the courts? Uh, what do we know? about his quest for justice? Uh, yeah, uh, first of, of all, we, we, we are happy now. Uh, the political environment is uh, kind of good. And uh, the president is, uh, is trying herself to make it, make it good. And I, 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 I think uh, Tungulisu uh, maybe has to forget uh, what happened to him, but I know, I, I know uh, it's really hard to forget uh, what uh, he suffered the last time. And, and uh, by that uh, means, uh, I think uh, there is a need uh, by the president, Samia Sulu Hassan, uh, to address the national on, on those uh, fascinators uh, who were uh, uh, willing to assassinate mm -hmm. Mr. Tundulis. So I think uh, it would be just and equitable uh, that uh, though all the suspects because uh, Mr. Tundu used to uh, uh, categorically say that he knows, uh, he knows uh, some of the 
of the members who were tried to who were attempt to, uh, to to kill to kill him or assassinate him. And so I think uh, uh, President Samia Sulu uh, has to address the national uh, on this. Uh, and if they are still in the system, because myself I don't know who they are, but mm. uh, I think it will be uh, much better uh, for President uh, to launch an investigation uh, on those members. All right, thank you so much, Victor. I mean, aside from all this, we still look at the constitutional reforms in Tanzania, but of course, that would be another topic for another day. Thank you so much, Victor Quaker, uh, the spokesperson, Justice, Constitution and Legal Affairs Act, Wazalindo, Tanzania. Thank you so much for joining us thank you. for this conversation.